so it's been a while since the last song that I uploaded to this channel and that's because I haven't had like any quests <laughs> obviously but I mean that's because I haven't had like much inspiration a lot has actually happened since the last video and I've just been like learning to be okay that okay so I was of the assumption that because you know I was obeying what God has asked me to do that he's always gonna be you know raining down ideas on to me and like that I could be able to share and like the, the channel would grow and like progress would just come so I was just like well I'm not feeling I'm not having any inspiration I'm not getting any ideas like okay okay I just have to be content with that because you know if God's not telling me it's because he he's not telling me right now it's like it's not right now like maybe you know soon like it's, I don't have to force anything it will progress like things will happen regardless like doesn't matter what I have to do so when you find out your purpose in life when you ask God God what is your purpose for my life what is your dad where do you want me to go what do you want me to do God will tell you God is going to answer you because that is a very genuine question <laughs> and like why would he not answer so he will tell you you just have to be in tune with him obviously you're going to do, devote your time daily to his word and stuff to make sure that you know his voice to make sure that you know his word what he's written along the lines of what he would be likely to say to you and speak into your life for those of you that have actually asked god you know what's my life's purpose where do you want me to go what do you want me to do what do you want me to do now what do you want me to do later basically you know just learn what god wants for you you're like now nah, let's go <laughs> let's go and you're like well okay what not really moving not really progressing or you know i'm doing things the way that you told me to do lord now what or just basically waiting for him to just show you the next direction the next direction but you've made steps towards that purpose that he's revealed, revealed to you and now it's like okay now what next it can be frustrating sometimes because you're like I want to do this if you're if you're, if you're someone like me and like all my life I've been taking control doing things just making things happen because I just feel like if I'm here and I wait then I'm being too stagnant and nothing's gonna come my way but God has been teaching me like that's not a good like character that's not what he wants for me so he's been you know removing that part of me so me and my want of controlling things my want to you know put everything in its box in my life and um, every aspect of my life is in its box and me working towards it me using my own strength to move my life forward basically it's what i've always been doing and um that's exhausting that doesn't work <laughs> that does not work so letting god take over letting god reveal what he wants for me to do where he wants me for me to go it's even better it's a big adventure it is a big adventure because you don't know the map you don't know the way you're going you don't know what's around the corner you don't know what's right down the road so it's just really like wow okay trust in god obey what god says and that's basically it so when you're here and you're like waiting around and you feel like you should be doing things you should be moving you feel like me and you feel like you shouldn't be just taking it all in you should be getting making things happen slow down take your time and just trust god trust the process trust the direction trust that he has the blueprints the plans everything he has the map everything's gonna go fine you don't have to do anything more than likely what you do decide to you know do is just not gonna have any effect or it's just gonna make things worse so take your time hold it down hold it down and then um let god let you know when he wants you to know yeah he will let you know he'll let you know where to, where to go what to do you know and if he's been talking to you before like you know when he so when he showed you your purpose his purpose for you 
you knew it's going to be the same thing the same way you knew it was God and you knew wow great let me do this it's going to be the same don't like trust that he's telling you things he's telling you things and just because you feel like oh it's not it's not to do with my purpose you don't know that how do you know you don't know so just trust that God knows and you don't need to know right now all you need to do is to hands off hands behind your back <laughs> hands off the situation, mind off the situation, not completely, obviously you need to still remember your purpose which like so that whatever else you're doing in life aligns with your purpose so you always need to have it in your mind but not at the forefront where you are going to be stressing and being anxious about it. So the song I'm gonna sing, um, I still don't know what song I'm gonna sing. Lord, what song should I sing? I'm going to sing a song that I've already sung on my SoundCloud. I'll leave the link in the description box for you to listen to that. But I'm going to sing the extended version of that cover. And I hope you like it. It's Let Go by Dwayne Woods. You know, just let go and let God because he has great plans for you uh, yes okay trust him okay yeah basically when I sang that song I didn't really have any kind of testimony I was just singing it because oh yeah it's a nice song but it actually rains through like ah oh. wow I said a lot has happened so one of the many things that have happened right if I were, I need to be sharp, you know, because you don't want to be listening to me for so long. But um, one thing that I've really struggled with was, um, <clears throat> woo! So knowing that I do not want to be in university. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to be here. I don't want to. Day. but God did not tell me to leave mm -hmm. so God okay basically I found out my purpose because I asked if I asked earlier I would have known earlier that I would have known maybe but anyways I asked just now finally and God told me what he did not say was to drop out of uni to go and pursue it which I couldn't understand. Well, I, yeah, I couldn't understand and I didn't like it and I kept on like saying, are you sure? Are you sure you don't want me to drop out of you? I'm like, it's it's such of a struggle. Like, look at everything that's happening first year. Second year is just not going right either. Are you sure? Like, are you sure? Are you sure? God did not tell me to leave uni, so that is why I'm still in uni. And I did not like it. And I would, there was times that because I just feel like I'm failing. I'm not failing. I'm passing but I'm not doing as great as I would have wanted to do. I was doing a lot better in my compulsory education than I'm doing in the education, the higher education that I'm paying for and that just, that to me I'm failing basically. To me that just doesn't, that doesn't correlate, that doesn't register in my head because what on earth is life? If you're not doing better at something that you're paying for. So um, that me, I just defeated spirit was just there because I was just like oh, I don't want to be here I'm not doing good it's not even going well to me so anyways God knows why he doesn't want me to drop out I don't know why he doesn't want me to drop out so to me it's like please like at least make the the, the time here enjoyable then <laughs> because I don't want to be here. I just need to let go of the situation, stop trying to control everything. So what if I'm not doing all right? Do you get what I mean? Like, I know my purpose, I know our plans. So that's kind of the reason why I wanted to drop out and just leave it because please, I don't need this universe. I don't need this degree. God has a plan for me, yeah. I don't need this stressing, all this assignments, essays, because God, has revealed his purpose for me yes yes <laughs> and that's kind of the reason why I was like let me go 
and he was like hold on wait a minute I did not tell you to quit so um yeah. hanging on in there and basically this song I just hold on to it because there are times that it's just like <laughs> So what now? And it's like, well, I'm doing everything right now because I up, you know. So strong is one of the things that is making my time here ben very beneficial. So I'm really happy. Just hold on in there. I'm gonna read. Um, so everybody knows. I know that I have the plans for you. So I'm gonna read that one because it's something easy that you can remember. So when those thoughts come to your head about like being anxious and worried, you don't know what's going to go down or you don't know how everything's going to go down, this, just commit this to memory. Everybody knows it more or less right now. Find a version that is going to stick to with you and that you know is going to really eradicate all of those negative thoughts. Um, I'm going to read the New International Version. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 even if you just say that it will just rem and you just remember the verse at least the first line for i know the plans i have for you declares the lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you baby girl plans to give you a hope and a future plans to give you hope and a future so just let go and let god I couldn't seem to fall asleep There was so much on my mind Searching for that peace But the peace I could not find So then I kneeled down to pray Praying help me please and he said, you don't have to cry Cause I'll supply all your needs As soon as I stopped worrying Worrying how the story ends When I let go and I let God Let God have his way that's when things start happening and i've stopped looking at back then when i let go when i let god let god have his way there's so much going on sometimes i can't find my way and oftentimes I struggle, I struggle from day to day. I have to realize that it's not my battles, it's not my battles to fight. I have to know that if I put it in God's hands, that everything will be alright, yeah. As soon as I stopped worrying, worrying how the story ends, when I let go and I let my God, let God have his way, that's when things start happening, and I've stopped looking at back then. When I let go, when I let God, I let God.